Multi-factor authentication in LastPass, what is it and how do you use it? Well, stick around and find out. Hi, I'm Dave of Tech Experts and I help entrepreneurs to close the gaps that exist across the tools needed for your online business. Today, we're looking at LastPass and using multi-factor authentication with it. So what does that mean? Well, multi-factor authentication is another way of saying two-factor authentication. You're adding a second layer or a second method to confirm your identity when you log into your account. Now, LastPass is our password manager, so it is going to be critical that we have multi-factor authentication or two-factor authentication turned on in LastPass. That basically then we're saying we want to make sure our master account, the one that holds all the rest of our passwords, has that layer of protection enabled so we know it's truly us when we log in. So let's see how we do it as LastPass gives us a variety of options on doing this. We're going to jump into our LastPass and see how we can enable multi-factor authentication and what our choices are. This is my LastPass multi-factor authentication screen. You get to this from your account settings. It's the second tab in the account settings screen. And you have a variety of authenticators. They're all going to be software based. So they're going to be apps that run on your phone for the most part that are free to use. And they're free for any account. Basically, if you have a free account or you have a paid account, you can use any of these. Now, I personally recommend you use the LastPass one to start with. And note that this LastPass one is a separate app from your LastPass app that you put on your phone. And this one is just intended for using for doing multi-factor authentication or two-factor authentication. The reason I like this one is it's got the push notifications, which means you can click the accept and it pushes you right in to LastPass and you don't have to enter the code. So it's nice and quick and easy. Now, that being said, it is running on your phone, so I like having an alternative. And I think having an alternative, even if it's still running on your phone, is going to be key. Now, it says it will support Google Authenticator here. Well, I'm not a huge fan of Google Authenticator. I like Authy instead, and you can substitute in Authy anytime you see Google Authenticator. So that's what I've done here. And I have a video that covers how to do that and what I'm talking about if you want to learn more about that. But the reason I'm using my Authy instead of my Google Authenticator here is Authy will allow me to put the tool on my desktop as well as on my phone. So it means if I don't have my phone with me, I'm able to use my Authy app on my desktop to still generate the code and log in successfully. So just keep in mind that if you're using any of these and they're just going to be on your phone, that you may want to look to find one that's an alternative. And Authy will let you do that and it'll substitute in for Google and you won't be able to tell in LastPass. Now, if you are a hardware fan and you want to be a YubiKey, all my YubiKey fans, I love you out there. If you have a paid plan, it will unlock the YubiKey. So if you want to step up to that premium plan at $3 a month or the family plan at $4 a month, those both unlock the YubiKey. The YubiKey is a hardware token that you can use to generate your code and authenticate your apps with. LastPass will let you use YubiKey and it'll also let you connect up to five YubiKeys. That's why I always tell you to have a backup key in place. You can do that with this and put up to five keys. So a combination maybe you have between your family and friends of who in the household all has YubiKeys, you could plug into up to five per account. If you have a business plan, you can use Salesforce. That's the only time you can use Salesforce. It's the full on business level. Business plans also give you all the rest of these options here. The nice thing with LastPass is it will let you run more than one of these. So you'll have to pick a default. So my default is currently set for the LastPass app, but I also have my Authy in as Google. So that means if my phone isn't with me, I want to be able to get in when it prompts me for the code. I can click a little link there that says pick another authenticator. It'll give me an option and Google will be one of those. When I pick the Google one that says it is uh, registered with my account, I can enter my Authy code in there. It'll expect that code and then it will authenticate me and let me in. It's easy to set up. You're just going to click the pencil for the one you want to use. 
follow the instructions on screen. It'll probably ask you to scan with your phone. It'll ask you to put in the codes. It'll ask you for your master password. Only other thing you want to remember in there is make sure you're turning on allow offline access. That basically means if you're not online, you can still authenticate and get into your LastPass account. Why would you want to do that? Well, maybe you have your business address stored in your LastPass and you're offline. You want to be able to grab your business address out of your LastPass. To do that, you'd still need to authenticate and get in. Once you're authenticated, then you can always get in. So that's covering our LastPass multi-factor authentication. Like I said, I recommend LastPass first, and then I recommend Authy as a secondary one and YubiKey for a hardware one. So that covers how the multi-factor authentication works. Remember, you want to be running multi-factor authentication for your LastPass. And the reason I'm saying this again is because you want to keep that main account you have secure. And that's what that multi-factor authentication is for, securing your LastPass account. Now, I created a course on how to use LastPass. So if you want more training on how to use LastPass, check out the link for my course in the show's description down below. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please give me the big thumbs up, like it, share it with your friends and family, and make sure you're hitting that subscribe button for me. I always ask you to subscribe because I want to keep you in the know. We have more how do I guides, more tech tips, more reviews, and more things I want you to be in the know about, like what is two-factor authentication and why you need to use it. If you haven't done so yet, please check out my show's description down below. I will have links to these products. So I'll have links to the LastPass. I will have links to the Authy app. I'll have a link to my YubiKey as well. That will be affiliate links on those. And they do pay me a small commission. That commission helps me continue to make amazing new content like this. I also have links to a bunch of other videos I created in the two-factor authentication series, as well as in the password management series. And that Authy app is one of those videos in there. So make sure you check out that one. And I'll have a link for a video on YubiKey as well so you can learn more about that. Now, if you have a comment, feedback, or suggestion, I would love to hear from you. Leave it in the comment section down below. What is your favorite two-factor authentication or multi-factor authentication app or tool that you like to use? Is there one you think is the best? Are you substituting in something other than Authy for Google? Which ones are you using and which ones are your favorite? Leave me a comment in the comments section down below. I look forward to hearing your feedback. I'm Dave McBride, and I look forward to working with you.